And today I want to speak about the power of the mind. The power of the mind. I'll read one scripture only and I'll be done. Somebody tell me the power of the mind. The mind that God has created us with is so powerful. Who know it? If you know it, then you will enjoy it. The mind power. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all things that we ask or think according to the power that walketh in us. There is something walking in you. Somebody say power of the mind is in me. Can I hear you say the power of, the, of God is in my mind. Amen. Remember walk it in who? In us. That is you and me. Just that scripture I want to tell you. Now unto him that is able. Unto God who is able to do to do or give to us anything we ask or think. Thinking comes from the mind. Whether you meditate about it, whether you keep it in your mind and let it roll, as long as you think about it, the mind is being exercised. The Bible said God will give us anything we ask by speech. Asking is by word, is by talking, is by saying something. God will answer our prayer and also God will answer your thinking. And thinking comes from the mind. So whatever you think, there is a power to it. Whatever you think can come forward in reality. Let me tell you, there is nothing we do in the face of this earth. If it is a project, if it is a money, if it is, if it is even an assignment... As you think about it, the power to do it will come upon you. True or true or false. Mm -hmm. But when you don't think about it, what happened? Nothing happened. God himself said in the book of Genesis 11, 6, He said, come now, let's do something. The mind of these people. Otherwise, nothing shall be Impossible for them. Who? I can't get that. I hope you get it. God Himself, for the first time of creation, when the men came together and they decided to build a tower, they get up, a tower up. They said they want to shoot a skyscraper. That's the first skyscraper you think of in the whole face of the world. And how did they come to that? How did they want to do it? Because they Imagine it in their mind. They thought about it. That means they reason it in their mind. That we can get it fixed up. And get to heaven. Without having, having the scientific technology we have now. They decided to move on. Why wouldn't they? Because it was in their mind. The mind has a power. And God attests to it. God said I knew it. There is a power in us. As you are sitting listening now, brother and sister, there is something in you. Mm. Oh Lord, help me now. I let you know something. And I pray you'll be able to activate yourself after this service. This man came together and said, we can add some stones to stones and get a climb. We will get a climb up. And the Bible said they began to do it. Why did they begin to do it? In their mind. Mind power. If it is not in your mind, it cannot be done. Mm -hmm. It was in their mind. And so they could do it. And as they were building it up down there, God said, no, I got to do something. This is crazy. This is not normal. Let me go confirm their language. Let, let us go down, otherwise. God used this word, otherwise. 
Nothing that they thought of to do will be impossible. Ladies and gentlemen, you are a witness today. I am a witness too. We have seen the technology advancement that we have today. All these things came in the mind of someone. And they begin to invent and invent and they are still inventing. How come they listen to their mind? They thought of it night and day. And the Bible tells us unto God who can answer our prayer by speech. And also our thought by thinking. A God can hear you. But the things you think about, it will come to pass. So I'm here to tell somebody here. You got to reset your mind. You are thinking too bad about yourself. You are thinking too low about yourself. About situation. I want to tell you this. Don't let the situation you see right now deter your thinking. Don't let it. What you think that no man can break you, no man can break you. That is a thought. As you think it becomes a prayer. And the power of the mind will bring it to pass. There is no miracle that God cannot do. There is no healing that God cannot bring. Think about that. There is no height that you cannot get to even though you are low. You can still climb. Think. So all these things that I invented today, men thought of them and they are still thinking. I mean, you look at some things. The only way you can know this thing can work The thing has been scattered. You look at it again in your mind. You look at it. You look at it. You look at it. You can see a way through all. But you saw some path. You go back to sleep. You wake up in the morning. And your mind is there. And you begin to reason. It is once you will get up. And go back to that situation. That you left. Not having the clue. And you go back there. And pick the clue together. Because it is in. One of our mechanic told me he cannot sleep. He couldn't sleep because of one job that met him. And the job rattled him so badly that he began to think of the job. I told him that is the best thing for you to do. Do not sleep. Think. And it's true. He was thinking, what have I not done? What have I not done? This, this. But as he thought of it. It bothers his sleep though. He wakes up early though. But his mind is in it. And I told him when you got up in the morning. Did your mind not run you to somewhere? He said yes. When I got up. My mind went to one place quickly. In the car. And I got up straight away. I ran to the workshop. And I saw the thing. I didn't touch it. So I touched it. What I've been suffering for, the car started. I said, that is the power. When you think of some things, you will never stay down. You want to go further. Since your mind was there, then an answer is coming. All what you have been suffering since, your thinking power brought it to pass. If you have not think about it, what will happen? You wouldn't get it. I say, so please, you people should learn to be thinking. That's how God has made it for you. When things didn't go out, think. How? Why? I'm going to find a reason. You will get it. Because the Bible said, nothing these people imagine in their heart that they will not what? We're told of a story of the man who invented Coca-Cola. The day I watched it very well, I refused to sleep that night. I listened to this man, old man. The day and night he put in to invent that syrup called Coca-Cola. Or Coke as it was. The suffering he went through. But his mind would not give up. He failed many times. But he said there is something I'm not doing right. I should do it right. Many nights he mixed. Many nights he mixed. Until finally he got it. But my sad moment for him was that he sold it. He sold it to a billionaire. Because 
His life is in shambles, and no money to finance this thing. And you know, advertisement brings sales, and so and his family is under. Before he die, he should do something because he was drinking too much. He sold the very thing he powered to come to be. He sold it off. Just half of it though. But the very billionaire took the whole thing who did not invent. But he has the money to go into marketing and told the children use money again to blind the children so that they can sell the remaining half to him. And he was now known as the one who brought Coca-Cola. But the person who brought it is down below. Gone. But there is something to it. Do I think my God can leave me in this situation? It's another matter. Do I think my God can bring me out? It's another issue. What do you think? There is power in your mind. As a man thinketh in his heart. I didn't hear you. So he would be. So if I think I'm going to have my way through, I will have my way through. What are you, what are you waiting for? Why are you giving up so soon? Why do you let situation in the life now throw you back and say you cannot get there? Why do you think my age, why do you say something like my age has passed? Your age cannot pass. What is impossible even with men is possible. So if I think my God can do it, he will do it. There is no miracle God cannot give. So think. Don't let your age speak. Oh, life has passed me by. Life never passed anybody's by. Think. There is a power in your mind. He said, unto God who can give do more than what we ask or think. If you are thinking of a breakthrough, then a breakthrough must surely come. Your thinking will not make you give up. Giving up is the thing. I'm not going to die here. I must do something. It's the power of the mind. Remember the four lepers? They refused to stay in the bushes. They went forward to get the resources. What are you waiting for yourself? What are you saying in your mind? What are you bringing God to? If you say God is a failure, God will be a failure to you. But to somebody else, God is not a failure. God will not be a failure to that person. What are you thinking? That you have crying to do all days of your life? Quit that! No old Bible say, I will give to many. Think that. I will create something in this earth. Think that. Whatsoever things are good, Whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things have good reports, think. Why did he call in you? Because that will shape in your life. Going home, closing the door against yourself and lamenting for yourself is not an answer. But there is an answer when you go home, close your mind, close the door and think. Think positivity. Think my children are going to make somewhere. Think my life is going to find a meaning. My marriage will not crash. My marriage must succeed. Think. Because when you think, a power come. And a God answer. In the name of Jesus. I will have what I will have. I must have substance in this world. Say amen. Something blows my mind off sometimes. One time I returned from the journey and I said to my heart, I know some of you are witness here. I said something like, in this land that I am, I'm going to eat for your money. Who heard me then? I said, I will eat it. Did I say so? Do you remember? How many years ago now? Long ago. I don't know where in South Africa I came from or from, from London. I don't know where I came from, but I think I came from somewhere and I said something like that. And I said, God, no distance in the land. We will not be like this. We will get it. But I said it and I meant it in my heart. Until today, I'm still meaning it. I still want it. But something happened. I got a gift from my son. And he said, take this. And I handled the gift. I took it and I appreciated the gift. 
and something fell on me. This is the oil money you said you will eat. And I said, yes. These things are mysterious. If you think so much, brother, even though sickness come into your body, you will not die. If you think so much of health, you think so much of what you have to do, you will, not, you will refuse to die. You will not give up. What kill men will not kill you. They will tell you what wrong in your body is hot, is tough. It has finished many men. But we don't know why you are like this. It happened to me because my thinking is serious. The doctors in Ogara asked me to do checkup. I did all that checkup. They say, how come? I think Pastor Oje told you people about the testimony. How come? I said, I don't know. Your thing, reading is reading terrible, but all the signs are not there. Why? As a man think in his heart... You think to live and not to die. The day man want to die, he has what they call discouragement. No willpower to fight light. You say, leave me, let me just go. I, I like to go like that. Have you heard that word before? But if a man said, I will not go, I will stay. You will stay. Somebody, you are going to stay with us. Did you hear what I said? Because you are thinking, even the doctor said you have no hope. But you are saying to yourself, I have hope in the Lord. I'm thinking of hope. I'm thinking of coming out. You are going to come out. You become a bundle of miracle. Praise the Lord. This is me speaking now. The doctors in Europe told me I'm a walking corpse. They told my brother, pastor, and said, this man, is a walking tops. The value of what we are finding in him, we have never seen it in the whole of this country. Uh, I say, it could be your value. It does not matter. But God, what is saying something else? The African nurse that came up to my table, came after three days and looked at me and said, Oh, thank God. You will go back and preach. I said, Yes, I'm preaching. They moved me as an example in the whole of the London clinic. And they were announcing it. They doctors and nurses. That they never seen this. How come? Mind power. They say you are useless. But in your mind you said I am going to be something. Mind power. Because of the word they say you are useless. You remember their word, but you always remember what you will be. I must be something. Once your mind is built up, it's a prayer. And God answer your prayer. He that is able to do exceedingly abundantly, more than what we ask or think. Is somebody thinking about something positive here? You will get it in the name of Jesus. You thinking about your marriage, you haven't got the money to marry, but you hope you are going to marry. You don't know, but you are thinking, God will make it happen. As you think, so will finance come. A way we open for you. Don't give up. Do not remember Nigeria economy or the world economy. It's not only Nigeria now, the whole world economy. Don't remember it. Just remember what you will be. It's difficult to build a house, but God will make me build one. I am seeing my house already the way it's going to look like. If you draw it, you will have it. He asked Abraham and he said, Abraham, come with me. Take a walk in the wilderness. In the desert, Abraham took a walk. And the Bible says he walked to the north. And he walked to the south. He walked to the east. All this he was doing, he was drawing something. Abraham was drawing. So, so God, you, you can multiply me in this place. Yes, in the place where people call nobody prosper in that office. You will prosper in the office. Are you thinking? There are some people that fear compounds. When they stay in the compound, they say the compound, nobody progress. You are the one to change the story. I'm thinking I'm going to progress here. The earth is the Lord. Think. Unto him that can do exceedingly abundantly, the mind has power. You know why witches get, his, get us? Because they confess and make us see them as too much powerful. So we believe in their power. And we fear. 
Go to your village right now. There are people who are encouraging witches. Encouraging wicked spirits. Giving them power. Because of what you hear. They tell you, did you come slap somebody the day before yesterday? And your neck, you're not going to turn back again. Where is the person? You cannot find the person. Where did the person say the man don't die? They put that fear in your heart. And you begin to fear Juju. They say that bush, not near Ramo. Not near the bush. But the earth is the Lord. Finish the earth. If somebody have a thinking mind here, we say there is no power to that thing. I said it in my mind, I can handle it. There is no power. As a man think in his heart. And as you go to handle it, it will become zero. David said it to Goliath. Is it not? Goliath came down. He said, you Goliath, you may be tall and big and big like a giant, but my stone will bring you down. As a man think in his mind. You must make it there. Correct your mind. If you have a failed business, yes, business sometimes fails. If it has failed, get ready. It must rise again. It is where. Don't kill yourself. Don't go drink anything. Just say to yourself, it may take me some time, but I may make it there. I remember my late father used to tell me that. I remember that man for that word. He said, it's only long. I will put a three story here. He said it to me long. I said, that's what you, what, that what you intend to do? In my own mind, I don't want a three story. I want cash. So that for me, that, that's not for me, him. But for him, I will put a three story. It's only long. Take me so long time. I will, I will try. I will do it. I will do it. He has buried that thing in his head. You could see him eat, but that thing in his mind. It's, it, it is in his mind. He may walk and laugh and talk with people, but a three story building is in his mind. What is in your mind? And the day came, he told me, he said, it's like I will scatter the house now, this damn house, and then take it up as it. Papa, you really ready? Sir? Uh, uh, you ready? Uh, go and give me that, your block. So I went in. My brother was doing some job before I brought those modern blocks for him. And then he started. And when he has completed it, the three floor, and come in there, he called me and said again, now I have finished it. I'm happy. I look people from up, up, up now. In my mind. And I felt, oh, this is one of the things this man wants to achieve before he dies. Then he sounded something strong to me. He counted some money to me. He said, go and buy me a TV. <laughs> I mean, you will not understand. You go and buy me a TV and a satellite dish. The one you did for your brother. Because I did one for my brother. He said, that thing went the day for up. That time, cable is not there. He said, buy me that dish. I said, Papa, dish? You who push us away from TV? We shouldn't watch TV in your house? He said, yes, I need it now. So I go to look though. you both people when they go up and down. Up. I said, Papa, I'll get it for you. And I was happy. And I told my help brother, said, could you imagine that my father wanted a TV? Man, he has a big TV. Black and white. Those days. They, they, it has a locker. I call it a locker. It has a zip. He, you close the whole door with his leg standing and you can lock it. That's how he lock it. When we try to open it and wash, it's a war. Trouble. Nobody should wash. This same person now thinking that now, I ah, say, Papa, these things are too little. I, my own will not be too late. Your own will not be too late. But I did it with him to pleasure. And we collected the satellite dish. And then he, he sat down on the table and looked at it and said, Hey, now sir, I want to this here. Hey, I can see them now. Oh, look at Oyibo. Look at Oyibo. I was wondering. But there is something in his mind. And the thing is speaking out now. I want to say to somebody here, what do you think? As a man think in his heart. He said it. It may take him time. But he got it. This man's story from the school. His uniform is tattered. I've said it many times. I don't know how many times now. He doesn't have. He goes with spoon like we do those days. He's talking. A, we call it passport. I don't know how they call it now. 
You know, not international passport too. But this one, they're going to make you get some sokis in the school time. You put spoon inside your pocket. They waka. Please sit down. Why the spoon? So that anywhere you for jam anybody, they do sokis. You beg. I beg. Allow me now. One. They don't call a spoon. Those. One. One dose. Just one dose. One dose. And he said, please, you know what we do those times? We will say, okay, we will give you the dose. Or you go get spoon. Because that work of getting spoon before you come. Before you come, ah, you don't finish. That one not because they are wicked. That one gets that wicked. That is this thing that is going on. One dose. So because of that, Everybody have learned because before you go look for spoon, the guy will hurry, hurry, drink. You go, carry the bowl, drink. You know, quick come. So everybody go with one spoon called passport of entering the country of Gary. Once you get it there, and he said, please now, say, okay, yeah, now, yeah, go find spoon. Say, ah, thank you. I will not hurt. This is you. Only one, no. We have what they call water level and what? Bush loading. They don't want to take a bush. Everybody wants to take a bush loading. Once you want only that one. Want to say, no, 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 no. We're going to make a smoter. Make a smoter. Don't wonder what one spoon of garlic can do for one student who is hungry is something. As he take that one though, say, thank you. He lick his mouth and wash you and beg you for another one. You refuse. He go find another person and go to this other side. Uh, you are taking... Can I, can I go just, just one, one, just one. But they laugh at him. His school uniform is tall. His sandals are no match. But he said something in his mind. He said, one day, it go better. It no go be like this all the time. One day, those who laughed at him, saw him at really. When friends saw him, the school student, they introduced themselves. Oh, yes, I remember. And he said, please, how are you? He said, I bet you are looking different. Said, yeah, please come to my house. That place is my house. That's where I stay now. This man who was giving me this story could not stand it. He said, no, no, don't worry. He said, that's your place here. He said, that, this is also my car. This is your car? He said, yeah. He said, all right, all right. I, 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 I'm rushing to somewhere. Another day, you know he was running away. He could not bear to see this man has got a change of life according to his, his saying. Which is from as the mind speaketh, so he is. He was not telling me the story and I told him that is how it work out. I find out that so many of my students, cool students who have told me, some of them are pilots now, many of them are doctors, many of them are doctors because I was in that, we are in the science class. Many of them are doctors. They are doctors in Bayasa, Benin, Ogara. They are not far off. They are here. But I remember that pilot called Joseph Awana. He has mentioned, I will not be in this country. I will be up in the air. You people will be here. I will fly past your head. I say, ha. People will laugh. But it was in his mind. In his mind. Sometimes he stays on the skipper bed and then he will put his, his leg. Then we will come back to him and say, Oh man, plane still get turtle. When you they do. <laughs> he said, A mistake, a mistake. Uh, I, I, <laughs> because he going to do. We came to him and said, You know what he did think about? Plane get turtle. Play not get what? Not staring now you go to everything uh, computer. He say yes, I'm not mistake, not mistake. Then he go immediately show us. He put his hand. Ooh, I'm passing your compound now. Ooh, I'm passing your... We laughed. Some people say this man eh, he did sick he, he did not follow him quick, eh? But that is what is in his mind. Brothers and sisters, today I confirm from a close friend told me he came to town, but the man is not here, he's in Switzerland, that he's a pilot in Switzerland. I say, what? He said, look, that man is a tough... <laughs> he's God that... 
Oh, I said, I said, do you remember those days? He said, ah, you will tell me, what do you have here? Fear, remove fear. Failure, remove failure. I will not succeed. You will succeed. Remove it. Change them. Change it. Even though it's worse right now. As you think about it, you will get there. I won't tell you about those ones who are sellers. They had the dream. It's in their mind. And it came to pass. You will have something here. There is a power in your mind. There is a God that answers. If it's a miracle that you are asking of, it's possible. Can this miracle be? It will be. It will be. As you fix it in your mind, it will be. It will not fail. God's word is true. Put your hand to your chest. That is where we can say the mind is. As a man think in his heart, so he will be. You will be something. Say with me, you say with me. Father God, thank you for making me a bundle of power. You have given me dominion. That as I think, that's what I'll get. Father, this is a power. Help me now to activate myself and use this power in me rightly for your purpose and nothing shall be impossible unto me O lord favor me too with grace in the name of jesus thank you father in jesus name amen